welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. We're now testing the 212A, the Tier 9 Soviet SPG, in the sandbox, and we're on Redshire. Now, there was an incredibly long wait, nearly four and a half minutes waiting for a battle. I suspect it's down to the fact that they're just having trouble trying to match as many players as they can. And uh, this is a tier 10 battle with tier 8 tanks in it. Two RTs either side. Yep, he's doing the same. There are drawbacks to doing two RT in the same area. Obviously it does draw attention. I'm going to go into this area here, knock down a few more walls to give them the impression that I'm headed over here in this corner. Then I'm going to reverse up and then head back into the other side. Down into this corner. So I'm not too near my own teammate because I don't want to interrupt his gameplay, but I don't want to attract any RT fire on my location. And right, that Lanson, he's staying below the ridge line, but that guy is fairly obvious. Okay, thank you very much. You saw the RT. Yep, I saw him actually coming from this spot here. I don't think he's moved anywhere at all from here. I'll go to overhead view. The 212 way is one of the RT with a fairly fast reload, but you can see the switch time is quite long actually for a, a 203mm howitzer. We're probably going to see his tracer. We're as high as I can be without seeing it. I'm now going to go to V. Press the V key, you can see the tracer clearly when they fire. I think he's on the edge of the map. Maybe he's relocated. But it could just be he's actually binding his time, waiting for the right moment. I would have expected a shot by now. I think he's moved off. Okay, in which case I am going to be... Oh, mama. We've got enemy nearby and also we've got... Uh... Yeah, and I've been spotted. I'm going to be on the receiving end from shells and there's an STB nearby. And I'm not loaded, so there's not a lot I can do. Artie's going to get me. Yeah, there's the STB. Not loaded. All I can do is try and stay in field of fire. Oh! Well, Death Star got me instead. I was hoping I could reload in time. I was auto aiming onto the STB, so I would have got a shotgun on him. Well, this is going to be a loss already. Four tanks down. Their STB is going round the back, clearing us up. Yes, you can see the RT definitely was in that area, it's just he wasn't firing that much. I did have the right spot. At least I got some damage off the Lanson before I was killed. So, not a total loss. Uh, he's been ammo wrecked. Meanwhile, the Heshbon is now dead. And in fact, he got hit by two RT rounds there. The second one did no damage whatsoever because <laughs> he was already dead. 
So I suspect he was well spotted and did nothing about it. Okay, this game is rapidly drawing to a close. It looks like one of the RT has actually moved into the corner. There's one there and there's one there. So there's only one left, it's this guy, and he's now dead anyway. <laughs> so that was a rather quick game. Yep, only two bits of damage. I did wound the 262 for 36 and I got 362 off the Lanson. Not a good game. 398 altogether. <laughs> Fourth, fifth from the bottom. Uh, yeah, but I think this team was pretty poor, except for the T54E1, who did quite well. 4,628. He actually did get the highest damage in the game, funnily enough. But... The rest of the team were total Muppets, including myself on this occasion. I am very tired. I've done all over, is it 36 battles so far? I think it's 36 today. And I started late as well because I was busy on other videos. So uh, yeah, that's my excuse. I am absolutely knackered. And I've got to do another five hours of gaming before, uh, after this closes. So let's go in and start again. Well, finally, we've got a game, and uh, yet again, we're too short. This time, it's a tier 9 game with tier 8 tanks in it. I actually had to wait 10 minutes for a game because we timed out after 4 minutes, 45 seconds. And so I had to re-enter, and I had to wait another 4 minutes <laughs> till uh, something came up. And now we finally got a game. So... Karelia, Westbourne. We're the only RT on our team. In fact, we're the only RT in the game at all. There's no RT on the enemy team at all. That does give them a kind of unfair advantage, you might say. But there again, RT is a false multiplier, as I always say. And uh, so without us, it's going to make, um, without an arty, it's going to be difficult for the enemy because they're going to constantly get stunned. Okay, somebody is going to make it up onto the horseshoe. And they have. Now, a T-32 has become visible. Oh, mama. Well, their EBR got stung. And our ELC Evan Knight is moving in for the kill, but is he going to get it? No, I think what's going to happen is he's going to get taken out. Oh, he didn't. He took him out. But I'm afraid the Lanson's going to take him out. And now the Lanson's in a good position. And there's not a lot I can do about them, but I can hit these guys over here. Rounds out. Well, it went long. I've got nobody to counter me, so I can actually stay where I am and just keep hitting these guys. It seems they're coming down the south route in force. Which means our guys can move. Okay, it's going to be the Carnarvon.
Bounce out. Okay, let's see if I can do these. Firing up over the top of the mountain into them. Just let them know they've got RT support. Rounds out. Two for one there. I think they've left their cap a little open. Switch to this guy here and rounds out. Okay, he's gone. Okay, we've got a P45 Pantera up here. I can hit him from this angle. Where's he pointing his gun over there? Okay, our guy, they're getting closer and closer to our guys, but I'm gonna. See if I can hit this Pantera. Rounds out. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to hit these guys here. Oh, they're bunching around our guys now. The VK, who's gone down. I only have an object now, so I'm going to have to relocate after this shot. Yag Tiger is my target. Rounds out. Okay, relocating. Okay, got one in the cap. They need me to reset the cap if uh, the enemy get into it. GSO was trying to get back. I, I am loaded, so I could potentially put a round into him. But I'm worried that if I don't get a move on, I'm not going to be able to help. They've got two guys coming up. I need to get behind this rock. I've been spotted. Damn, 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 damn. Get low. Unfortunately... Now I'm wondering if the person who spotted me is over on the horseshoe. Might be the Pantera. It is. He's aiming our cap and rounds out. He's unloaded. That's why he's he's pulled back because he's trying to reload. We might get this by capping out. I think we're going to. Yep, they won. They did it. Couldn't get a shot there at the last second. So, 3-1 against 5. But it was the guys in the cap who did it. For sure. I don't think I got much in the way of damage out of that one. Well, actually, that's wrong. I did get a lot of damage for my team. I was in third place on damage. But there were three members of the enemy team did more damage than I did. So I'm actually in sixth place. The guys who... I think it was the Brigetto was capping. Yes, he got 40 cap points. The Lorraine 40 time was the other one. He got 53 cap points. These are the guys who actually won it for us. Uh, the NA player... And the Russian player. So well done to them. I didn't get any kills, but I did get some damage on the enemy. Anyway, let's have a look at the details yet. Well, technically speaking, I would have made a profit even if you counted at 10,000 or 20,000. 
So, but it would have been a very small profit. There was still quite a lot of XP from that stun XP, stun assistance, so yeah. Okay, let's go again and see if we can get another one. Okay, we have another battle and it's a reduced numbers game again, but this time only one player is missing. And there's two RT in the game, me and the opposite number. The opposite number is the Batch at 15555, which is not one of the best RTs in the game, because although it's fast, it has a fairly long reload for a 155mm shell. In fact, I can load a 203mm shell fairly quicker, a fair bit quicker than he can, and I'm also very quick to dial in on target. My reload is 292 in this configuration and nobody's moving oh dear I think the servers have ended that's the end of the day uh, gaming for the evening for sandbox so we get to the third battle and war gaming switches off and that's why it disconnected okay well that's the end of testing for the 212a and i don't believe the uh, sandbox server is going to be in action until tomorrow morning by which time obviously uh, it'll be too late to actually get any gaming in i think it's the sandbox is due to end at something like 10 o'clock in the morning our time, or was it uh, slightly earlier? Okay, here's the result. It says that uh, March 29 at 11 o'clock Central Eastern Standard Time, which is UTC plus 2, which would mean um, if it's UTC, is this, is this NA or EU? EU. So I think that this is going to be Central East estimated time UTC plus two. I thought they normally mention Zulu, but uh, they're not mentioning Zulu here. So they're saying it started at 1400 Central Eastern time or Central Europe time. And it's got Central Europe summer time. And that's us plus two. So 11 o'clock. Take it back to so it's going to go off at nine o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning. That's right. Yeah, that's why it's CEST. It's Central Europe summer time, and that's Central Europe time, which normally is one hour plus zebra, a uh, zebra, Zulu rather, uh, UTC being Zulu. Okay. Um. So there's no more gaming tonight on the sandbox. I'm afraid that's the test, but. My recommendation still stands, do not pay anything to Wargaming at all for any RT player. Just stop giving them your money from now on. And if they continue with the uh, and implement the changes onto the main server, then stop paying them. And it's up to you if you want to stop playing the game altogether. I think a lot of people will. I'm seriously considering it, as I mentioned already. But I would suggest that nobody pay anything to Wargaming. Let them see the drop in revenue now. And if they see the drop in revenue, and I will put this on the main board as well on uh, our page, do not hand over any money to Wargaming. If they see the drop in revenue, maybe it will persuade them not to go ahead with the changes. If they do go ahead with the changes, don't pay them anything at all ever again. That's it. They've, they've lost the right to have our money and uh, I don't think these changes should be in the game because they will destroy RT. You won't be able to play a top tier or tier 10 RT and make a profit. Very unlikely. And many of the lower tier RTs you won't make a profit on either. And so effectively it just won't be worth playing RT simply because you won't be able to make a profit. You won't be able to make XP. You won't be able to progress. And you won't have any fun because you won't ever get medals. You'll rarely get a Gauze medal. You'll rarely get a Bombardier. In fact, 
probably never get a bombardier. In fact, I think this se season of bombardiers will probably be the last season that we do when we get through the 1.12. Uh, that will be the end of it because I don't think there'll be any more bombardiers after that. I'd be shocked if there's any bombardiers afterwards simply because the damage will have been reduced enough that bombardiers simply will not happen. So there you go. That's the end of the sandbox testing for the moment. Thanks for watching.